Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a decal with a silhouette software. And I'm going to put a decal on this cute little caboodle case that I found. I just want to put my name right here and maybe a little picture. And I'm going to show you how to I'm do I'm going to show you my new machine. I have a Silhouette Portrait 2. And I love this, uh, love this machine because it has a auto blade, which is a total game changer compared to my first edition Silhouette Cameo. This is still a great machine, but I am loving this so far. And I got this about like two days ago. And it's great because I can use both machines at the same time because I have the business edition. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I make a name decal. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the text icon right over there. Type my name, my name is Charlene. Oops, hold on, I'm gonna capitalize a C. So I have my name just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight it. And I'm gonna keep the lines red because that's gonna be my cut line. And because this is, a, this is a decal and not a print and cut like the stickers I made in my previous video, uh, my previous silhouette video, uh, you don't need registration marks because we're just going to cut straight on the vinyl. So I highlighted that. I'm going to go right over here to the color and I'm going to fill in the text. It doesn't matter what color because we're not printing it. I just need it so I can see the image and how I'm going to cut it. So we're going to go over here to this, which is the other textile thing. And then I'm going to pick a font, and I like the script font. So it makes it look like that. So there's my font. But what I'm going to show you is, if you look really close. Here, let's get a close-up of that. Well, let's just bring it over here so you can see. If we go really close, you're going to notice that some text, you'll see it has the red lines in between, which means when you cut it, it's going to cut that line. But because I want it to be a solid, just one piece vinyl, I'm going to go ahead and select it, right click, and then you're going to go to weld. There you go. So those red lines are gone. So it's not going to cut it. It's not going to cut through the letters right there. So there's my name. And that's that. <laughs> so now I want to add a picture to it. So I'm going to go move my screen. And I already found a picture online, which is a bow. And I think that's Hello Kitty's bow. So we're going to shrink it. And then you're going to go over here to the trace. And then you're going to hit trace and then you're just going to select it and then it looks like it's covering most of it but I'm going to fill it in just a little bit more to make sure it has all the pieces around the edge. So now with this you don't have to trace and detach like the stickers I made in the other video. You just go ahead and trace the outline. So now if I move the picture, it has the outline of the bow, just like the lettering. So I don't need that anymore. We'll delete that. So I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to color it in. There's a paint right there, and I'm going to color it in black. So now I have a bow. I'm going to shrink it, and where do I want this bow? I kind of want it like right here. I kind of want it. I kind of want that big part on the other side, so I'm going to flip it. Mirror image that way. So I can delete that one. So now I have that one. And I'm going to take this piece right here, kind of tilt it, shrink it a little bit more. Whoops. I kind of want it like right there over the E. Is that cute? That's kind of cute. So now I like the image right there. I'm going to select them both and then I'm going to group it so it becomes one piece. So now I need to make sure it, it's the size I want. I'm going to go ahead and take a ruler, like right over here. Oops. 
sorry. So I have a ruler and I kind of want it from here to maybe there. So four and a half inches, four and a half inches right there. So like from there to there. So just gonna go ahead and pull it here till it says four and a half inches right there. And with height, it doesn't really matter because I don't really care about the height because there's a there's plenty of room right here. So that's the size I want. And then you just put it wherever you want. I like to put it at the very top because if you look at the mat, I'm going to show you the mat. So if you see, this is the picture of the mat. So all you gotta do is just line it up like it is in the picture. So if I put it the very corner up there on my mat, it's gonna cut it like right up there. So I'm just gonna match it like that. And that's it. And then I'm gonna take my vinyl, which is this right here. It's this cute holographic vinyl that I got from Joann's and it's this brand right here. It's by Cricut. I'm using a Cricut vinyl on my silhouette machine and it's the holographic vinyl in opal There you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take my scissors and Cut a piece so it's about I said four and a half inches. I just want to make sure that My vinyl is about four and a half inches and that looks perfect. So I'm just gonna cut that off so I stuck it on my mat. There you go. Ooh, there's my reflection. Hi. Anyway, so I stuck it on the mat like that, and I'm gonna stick it in the machine. Let's turn on the machine really quick. All right. So I'm gonna line it up right here, like so. And then let's see. All right. So it's in the machine. And the cool part about having an auto blade is I don't have to adjust it. I don't have to take the blade in and out. I just go over here and I'll go, oops, not library. We'll go to send and then I like to go here where it says line. And then there it is. It says copy paper, but because it's an auto blade, we're gonna go ahead and go to, let's see, vinyl. We're gonna go glossy vinyl. And then it says auto blade. And then here's the image right here. See, it's just gonna cut around the red. And then you just hit send. And then it's gonna make that sound because it's adjusting the blade. So now I have it cut just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and weed it which means just to take out all the negative spaces that we're not gonna use. Just go like that. And you have to be careful with this kind of vinyl, the holographic one, because it tears very easily. So I'll make sure, try not to tear the spots that I need. So there's that. And then all you need to do is take um, silo, my Cameo came with this tool, which looks like the thing that they use at the dentist with a hook. But you can use anything like a needle or something, just something pointy. And then you just got to take out. All right. So there you go. I took out all the negative spaces. And what I like to do, especially with this type of vinyl, I like to take an alcohol swab. And then I just like to clean the top of it because we're gonna put transfer paper on it. And if there's a, like oils from your fingers from touching it, it's not going to stick very well. So just clean the top of that. And then you're gonna go ahead and take transfer paper, which is, this one's also by Cricut. And then you're just gonna cut a piece that fits it. First, I'm going to trim, trim this piece of paper right here. So I'm not going to waste transfer paper. Alright, so 
so I have the decal, I have the transfer paper, and I'm going to go ahead and peel the top. And try not to touch the sticky part because if you don't want to get any oils on it or it's not going to work right. So I just peel the top. And I'm just put it on top of this. Bam. And then you take... It also came with this squeegee tool. You can just use a credit card or anything like, like this that you're going to... I'm going to go ahead and do it on top of this thing. Something where it's hard because my table is kind of like um, cushiony. Just want to do that and make sure it sticks to the to the transfer paper and then when you peel it it should should stick to the transfer paper. Like so, if it doesn't, you kind of have to like manipulate it to stick. I find that the Cricut transfer paper doesn't really work that well. Like you have to play with it a lot. But anyway, so taking off my name, make sure it doesn't rip because I've done that before and it's not fun. Okay, so now I have my name on the transfer paper. And take the alcohol swab. Where'd it go? So go ahead and take the alcohol swab and clean the surface where it's going to stick. Make sure there's no oils or anything on it. Because if there's oils on it, it's not going to stick very well. It's going to come off. So just do that. All right. So it's nice and dry and I'm going to go ahead and line it up where I want it, just like that. Give it a nice press, you can use the squeegee. and I would let this sit for like 24 hours let it dry overnight and there you go where oh there's a camera there it is there is my name decal on my little caboodle